Hi YouTube. Today, we're about to head out and we're gonna go shoot with this really cool photographer that I really like. You know, my makeup in three. So I've got a clean face, just waiting on Jasmine. I think she might come with me, I'm not sure. I'm gonna double check and then we're gonna head out. Two. Oh four, getting warmer. Haha. -ha. FM detector. Hello. <laughs> so we're currently out here on Venice Beach, picking some locations. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's a beautiful day. We're excited. did not take my makeup off last night. That's okay, we're gonna ignore that fact. <laughs> I am heating up some pumpkin-shaped protein pancakes right now. That's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Some of my little bite meals. Did you take the sticker off of this? No. I don't know what the macros are then, so <laughs> I'm just gonna roll it. These are definitely pumpkin flavored because I can smell pumpkin. Oh, those are big, those are like fluffy pancakes. Can I just poke it? They're kind of like pancakes, they don't taste like they're so thick, they're different textures. Yeah. Sugar-free syrup has chemicals in it. No, I have 50 grams sugar for a teaspoon of fucking regular <laughs> syrup. Can I ever what possibly? Do you, what do you want? No. I just got to the gym. Today, Jasmine's gonna do a shoulder and back workout. I'm going to do cardio on an incline treadmill. You may not know this, but when I first started working out or when I did my first competition, my gym had a bunch of incline treadmills, so I always did my hit cardio on that because I hate running, it hurts my shins. It's Extremely difficult, really challenging, lots of fun. Not as aggressive and hard on your knees and shins as sprinting is. So I really enjoy it. I'm gonna do a couple rounds of that after this girl gets off, because the way she is now, I'd have to film her too, and I know she probably doesn't want that, so I'm gonna wait for that, and then we're gonna film. I'll show you what I do. To do this, you have to have an incline treadmill. Most treadmills only go to a 15% incline, but incline treadmills will go to 30 which is brutal. <laughs> I start at two miles an hour. I'm gonna go up to start at a 12% incline. I'm gonna start there, warm up five minutes, and then we'll start popping it up and doing intervals, which is so fun. <laughs> Getting at a 12% incline, three miles an hour. On the minute, I'm gonna put the incline up because it takes a minute for it to go up. I'm gonna put it up to 28, it's slowly raising up. And then it's pretty brutal. <laughs> this is killer on the hamstrings and calves. Okay, a minute, 50 seconds, and put it back down. It takes a little bit to go back down. Oh. That's how I do it. You'll end up on an incline for like 30 to 45 seconds, I think. As you can tell, that's my breath a little bit. Just finish. Very sweaty for your kitchen gym. Proud of it. Up YouTube. It's very crooked. Uh, oh, I guess we're gonna come out here and one up me with a better hey, tripod. It's a little bit of what I do. We need like a little like tent to put it in so there's no wind. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to start talking. Tent. I just realized. migrated from the pool back to the um, sauna hotel where we are, an apartment, Jasmine's home. Editing a vlog and watching Scream. The best show ever. How do we feel about Scream? Amazing. I mean, it's pretty good. It's kind of a, just addicting to watch overall, you know. We should totally do that. Okay. Morning, sunshines. It's my last morning in LA, unfortunately. Woke up to Jasmine ordering me an Uber to bubble. Got peanut butter. Strawberry, blueberries, banana, granola, stuff. 
back home I just wanted to go ahead and make like a closing clip for this video on my flight home yesterday I did sit and read probably about half of this book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert the one who wrote Eat Pray Love I don't know if you've read that it's a great book Creative Living Beyond Fear it really really inspired me highly recommend this book for for anyone really because human beings are kind of made with this instinct to create things back to like cave paintings and shit like that it really inspired me to put a lot more effort and energy into creating because it is a very fulfilling thing. I want to put a lot more energy into creating. I, I personally am really passionate about writing, so I want to put more energy into that and more energy into like creating YouTube videos and making that something very fulfilling for myself. Just, just putting more time, effort, energy into that and writing and things that uh fulfill me, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if I described that perfectly, but if you read this book, you totally understand, so I highly recommend, please read this book. And I am going to start doing some of that today, so I'm really excited. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I had a really good time in LA. It felt really good to um, get out of my, get a change of scenery and kind of get out of my head for a bit, so it's good. Glad to be back home with my Christmas tree and my, I call her my Asian wife, <laughs> and my, my Maximus Prime, so. Good. And I will see y'all in the next video.